look for a bit of a pullback here. Look, the market's gonna have a correction here at some point. Apple pulls back, retest 200, holds that support. That'll be your entry point to add Apple to the portfolio. Here's what you need to know before the bell. So markets did set an all-time high yesterday. Again, marginal new high. Headlines yesterday, markets hit an all-time high, right? <laughs> Sounds like this is this big move yesterday. Yes, the markets actually traded negative for most of the morning, uh, wound up rallying into the afternoon and into the close. Now, that's good news, by the way, because we're seeing institutions coming in, buying into the marketplace in late afternoon trade. So that's giving this bull market some credence here that we're getting some institutional buying. Uh, but we did actually set a marginal new high yesterday. Again, nothing dramatic here. Still really, yes, we're moving higher. We're tracking right along that 20-day moving average, again, just as we kind of did uh, back in January, February, March, kind of rebuilding that same pattern. You know, rally a bit, retest the 20-day, rally a bit, retest the 20-day. That's This is likely the scenario right now that will continue on. Uh, markets just kind of really just remaining in this fairly consolidated range. Yes, we're making a new high here, but not marginally by much. We're a little bit higher than we were, you know, back in early May. But again, gains have been somewhat moderate here over the last month or so. The big driver yesterday, of course, was Apple. And uh, Apple had a very, very sharp move yesterday on their advent of Apple intelligence. <laughs> so not artificial intelligence. This is now Apple intelligence. The, and the one thing you have to give to Apple, look, you may or may not like Apple, and that's okay. I'm not a huge fan of their, I don't use their products, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we own it. Um, but I don't, I don't like their products, right? I'm just not an Apple guy. So, um, you know. One thing you have to give them, though, is that they are marketing geniuses. And while everybody else is running around going, oh, we've got artificial intelligence, we've got artificial intelligence, Apple comes to the table and says, you know what we've got? We've got Apple intelligence. <laughs> so, you know, give the marketing team kudos where they are due because they are definitely due there. Um, one thing here is that Apple has been trading in a very big trading range now, really going all the way back to July of, of last year. We have just traded sideways now. Apple really has not been contributing to the Mag 7 as much as they, they weren't pulling their weight, right? NVIDIA was dragging up the Magnificent 7 for sure. Uh, Apple's now back in the game. Big breakout of this big consolidation uh, for the market uh, for Apple. Apple traded there for over a year um, from July of last year, July of this, or June of this year, finally broke out of that range. So that technical breakout is going to start to pull traders back into the stock now because there's now momentum behind the stock. It is overbought here short term, so expect a bit of a correction. What you're looking for is a correction back to this $200 level, which is across these previous tops. This has been a big range that, that was running between 200 and about 180. We broke out of that range, so look for a bit of a pullback here. Look, the market's going to have a correction here at some point. Apple pulls back, retest 200, holds that support. That'll be your entry point to add Apple to the portfolio. So again, big driver yesterday, such a big weight in the overall index. That's why it pulled the whole index higher yesterday. But Apple Intelligence now uh, driving the market, <laughs> at least for the moment. That's what you need to know before the bell.